Welcome to Australia, welcome to 1953. This is the HSO Gold Star and I'm participating in this league in R Factor 2, I'm driving mostly a Gordini T24S as part of the 3 liter class, but I only have a 2.5 liter engine, so I'm kind of an underdog there from the car perspective. And in the events where multiple races are held, I will also drive in the 2 liter class in the Maserati A6 GCS. Other than the 3 and 2 liter class, there is the 3 liter plus. So um, if you have watched the GP Labs HRRC, um, that basically the car is up to 5 liter, um, or the Cunningham might even have 7 liters. Um, and below that, there is also the 1.5 liters. The 1953 season will have 6 races. This is the first one of them. Um, other than uh, Australia, we will also visit um, racetracks all over the world basically. So um, races will be done on a bi-weekly basis and I plan to participate in all of them. I hope I can make it and yeah, with that let's get to this race. Um, new glass here in Australia is on paper a very simple circuit with only three or four major corners but it's quite tricky with light corners and heavy braking zones. The start was challenging to say the least. Um, the grid is a 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two grid and it was obviously too narrow for R-Factor 2 to handle it. So uh, after a few tries we were uh, told to start from the pit lane. So actually we're driving not in order according to qualifying results. I qualified in 10th or 11th. Um, but yeah, after this procedure I basically was back down to 24th and starting my charge through the field. Sorry for the mess on the screen, I like to have my information available, so on the very right side you see the current overall, um, the overall positions um, with colors also according to the classes. So yellow is the 1.5 liter class, orange is the 2 liter class, gray is the 3 liter class and blue is the, big, uh, is the 5 liter class. And on, on the very top you see a relative, so I can always see who is directly in front of me, even if I'm lapping somebody, so that I get to know the cars, get to know the drivers and the names. Um, I found that to be quite helpful also in the GP Labs HRRC. So the beginning has been going very well, everybody was very cooperative as the field was sorting itself out. Um, the leaders were already quite far away, so the big 5 liter class also had the um, luck to start at the very beginning of the pit lane. I joined the server early and was at the very end, so yeah, currently now I'm overtaking a Riz Gardner, South Pole racer. I saw him complain on this a stream that I boxed him in here. Um, I definitely did not. I was at the very verge of the road. I was with tires in the grass, so there was room for a free ride. But yeah, the track is narrow, so sorry if I made this more dangerous than it needed to be. And with overtaking my former HRC teammate Urban here, I am up to P11 and I already see on the horizon one of my big competitors within this race, um, Pascal Nicola. Pascal is driving the Mercedes in my class and he, with every lap, basically is getting quicker. The Mercedes is quite good on this track. The teammate Darren Andrews was two seconds a lap faster than me. so. Actually, from a car perspective, I wouldn't have any chance, so I tried to gain as much ground as possible in the early race to maybe have a chance to fight against Pascal. So in this phase of the race, I really gave it my best and slowly but steadily reeled in Pascal.
So in the meantime, another two liter car was found in between Pascal and myself. So I took the chance to overtake him as he overshot the corner. And then it was time for more catching up. So then we had another car in between us, Ladis Alminen, formerly known as Rujasu from GP Labs HRRC, a 3 liter class champion and former teammate of mine. This time driving a, I think it's a Talbo, um, in the 5 liter class, also an underdog. So I get past him and finally at, I'm at the rear of Pascal. But even though I had a good exit, you can see how much the Mercedes is pulling away on the straight, so it was clear it was not easy to pass him and I needed to catch him in the corners or I needed to drive him, to drive him into an error. Still in the very beginning I didn't want to take any risk, so I was a bit cautious here. The first corner is, is really tricky. If you get to the outside, then you're gone. And I also didn't know that back in the day dirty air existed, so following Pascal very closely through this blind right-hander I completely lost front-end grip and understeered into, into the grass, was happy to catch it, but Lavi was back again, back in front. So after more lapping it was time for my second attempt at the front straight. I had a good exit again, tried the other side this time. But yeah, as soon as we hit 200 km an hour the Mercedes again goes away, I don't want to take any risk and pull back.
that was scary AF. So, um, Pascal was breaking a bit too late, maybe a bit too much under pressure by me, um, overshot the corner, almost hit the tree, spun back onto the track and I really had to take evasive action. Lari was able to uh, overtake me back again, but yeah, as my car is faster in the straight, it was not a problem to get past. And with that, I basically felt that the maximum I could achieve within this race. Um, Darren Lord was far, far away and faster than me by a big margin. So from now on, I basically just focused on managing the gap to Pascal. It was always around 15 to 20 seconds. But I still had to push very hard as, as Pascal got to grips with the car and, and yeah, just increased the pace throughout the race. and. I needed to push uh, to be sure the race was still going 30 laps, so I was still was scared to lose the place in the end. sudden then going through the final hairpin um, yeah the car crashed in front of me okay um, but also I saw that Darren Andrews was in the pits and that was not necessary during this race except for damage repairs so that's exactly what he needed after a very very small mistake putting one wheel on the grass and that was basically his race So in the meantime I was led by the leaders and basically had the class win in the back. Um, Pascal made a few smaller mistakes so I really was able to, to have my lead secured. But then I also noticed when going through the first or the second turn that I'm suddenly fifth. And that means somebody else had an issue and that somebody else was Isidore. Heartbreaking to see that. I'm very sorry for his race, but I'll happily take the position. But things like these are always a bit of a distraction. I'm, I'm now sitting in fifth, happy that I get a bonus point. The first three at five places get bonus points for the championship. Well, then while lapping, missed the breaking point and well had to use the gear I didn't use so far in the race reverse in the final second I was so lucky to steer away from the fence so still car in mint condition time to finish the race final 12 laps let's go
Maybe you've seen it, I'm fourth in the meantime. Robin DeVos had an issue. It can happen to the best. He was riding happily in fourth and then the trickiest corner on the whole circuit. It was late in the evening for the Europeans, so already 11 p.m. Things like that happen when you get tired and I also felt tired. So I really was hoping for the, for the finish. And there we are, final corner, final lap, one lap down on the leaders. What an exhausting race, but fun race. Um, this mod, this community is just the best. Um, just gentlemen drivers all around and yeah, it's just, it's just such a nice experience. And I already cannot wait for the next race. Fourth place is so much more than I would have expected from this race. Um, I wasn't expecting to beat the Mercedes, I was hoping to beat one of them. And yeah, with that, I was fourth. The overall victory went to Tom D in the, five, in the three liter plus class. Um, then I won the three liter class. Uh, Evan Bourguer uh, won the two liters and the 1.5 liters have been won by Matthias Estrella in the Porsche 550. But everybody's a winner, everybody who finished, everybody who did more than a few laps, I think was happy to participate and with that let's take a look at the overall standings. I'm currently together with Rob DeFries in second place, 10 points for the class win, 2 points for fourth place overall. So I'm very very happy with that. It's a similar picture in the Silver Star, so that's the class ratings basically, there I'm obviously in the lead, in the 3 liter class right now. Um, yeah, thank you for everybody for joining the race, thank you for watching, if you liked it, please consider to like it and subscribe, and then I hope to see you again in the next race, which will happen at Crystal Palace in London, and will be 4 small sprint races. Um, so I will also take the Maserati for a spin. See you again then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.